Question six, Tarzan running through the jungle, grabs a vine and swings up into the air. How high does he swing? Well, his kinetic energy is converted entirely into gravitational potential energy. Here's the formula for kinetic energy. Here's the formula for gravitational potential energy. I've made them equal to each other. You'll notice we don't know what m is. We don't know Tarzan's mass. We're not given that in the question, but it doesn't matter. You'll see that m is on both sides of the equation. So if m was 100 kilograms, it'd be 100 over here, it'd be 100 over here. If it was 200 kilograms, it'd be 200 here, 200 here. So we can divide both sides by m and it cancels out. So his mass doesn't matter. So what I've done is make them equal to each other. And his velocity we know is 9.2 from the question. Uh, acceleration due to gravity will take us 10. And we're going to solve to find the change in height. So transposing that equation, we see that his change in height is 4.2 meters. What other factors have not been considered that may affect the answer? Uh, things like air resistance and friction. Those sorts of things will result in some of that energy being lost. Maybe only 80-90% of his kinetic energy will be transferred into gravitational potential energy. So in the real world, he won't swing this high. Question 7 in high jumping. So again, the kinetic energy is being transferred into gravitational potential energy. Uh, what minimum speed does the athlete need to leave the ground uh, to lift his center of gravity 1.8 meters high? So again, his kinetic energy is going to be transferred into gravitational potential energy. So he's going to leave the ground at an angle. Here's his velocity vector taking off from the ground because he has a horizontal velocity of 0.5 meters per second he'll have some vertical velocity as well. And this is what we need to find. So once again, we make kinetic energy equal to gravitational potential energy. You'll notice this V here for the vertical component of his velocity. So we're only considering this part to start with. So once again, mass cancels out, half V squared equals G delta H. So solving for V, we find that the vertical velocity equals six meters per second. So he's going to need to leave the ground with 6 meters per second straight up. He has 0.5 meters per second horizontally. So his speed will be the magnitude of this vector here. And we find that using Pythagoras. So the total V works out to be 6.02 meters per second by Pythagoras. So that's the speed that he needs to leave the ground with at that angle.